Welcome back, YouTube. What do you get when you strip down a 1974 Dodge Monaco Highway Patrol police car and sell it at auction to a tall guy wearing a suit and hat and some sunglasses? Of course. The Blues Mobile. Got this one today at Toys R Us. Absolutely love the Blues Mobile. I had picked up this green light over Christmas. And it's the uh, casting that has the horn on top, their speaker on top. And I wanted to get my hands on just a regular one without that. And I snagged that up today. And as I was flipping through um, the peg of them, I was like, please. I really wanted to find a green machine of it, but I also didn't. Because I don't like the look of the green machine in this, the green tires. I really wanted it to be authentic. And that's it. I'm happy to not get the greenie of that. I wanted those dirty tires. And if you're wondering, that's what that car looks like in, in normal everyday use as a highway patrol car. Really a nice old school police car. I really like it. And I'm not big into collecting like police cars and, and stuff of this nature, but because I had the Bluesmobile, I wanted to pick this up so I had a nice example of what the car looked like before Elwood bought it. It's just awesome. And then of course, with the speaker system on top. Love that. I really want to take this out of its package and play with it, but it won't fit in my Plano case on the wall, so I'm, I'm going to leave it alone, but I really want to. My wife grabbed this. She was, uh, I believe, taken back by the color at first, and then she's just, she's just a lover of all things Texas. At the 1967 Dodge D100. Look at that color. How nice is that? With just that touch of forest green on the roof. White walls. Rims the same color as the truck. Simple tampo. Nice full size bed. Single cab. Just. Good job, green light. It's a nice one, you know? I really I really dig it. I'm not big on this series or know even that much about it, but it's a really cool casting. My wife picked that out. She's got good taste. Moving on to our uh, wild cards. I struggle with this one. One day I see it and I really love it, and the next day I see it and I don't really care. Uh, so I figured before it's all gone, I might as well grab one. You know, your, your typical limited 3,480. Pretty, pretty standard for a medium, medium lowish number for M2. Cool casting though. Love the flames. I do love castings with flames on them. I'm a sucker for that. And then, same number of pieces. Wild card. Had to get the Volkswagen van. And these I will crack. Both of them are coming out loose. One, because I don't have a lot of room, and two, I don't care for these cases. Like, they're not stackable or anything. Like, they're really kind of, they're just, they're just cheap. And if it's not a chase piece, there's really no point, I don't think, in keeping it on, on card or on, in its, in its, in its case. Just take it out, you know. Grab this up. Just because I liked the car, don't really care for this particular Batman movie. But I love my little castings. And there's so many in the character character cars right now between, you know, all the DC comics and then Star Wars. Lots of little itty bitty ones, little tiny R2-D2s and um, Ewoks and others. So I'd nab that up. World's smallest Roger Dodger. Ooh. 
yeah, itty, itty bitty, there's my, there's my thumb. Just over the top of it. There, underneath it, maybe the light can get it. It's ridiculous. Uh, I already had this, and I, funny story, kind of screwed up eBay for these things. There's three of them in, let me go up here and grab the other two. There's three of them in the series that world's smallest have made of Hot Wheels, one being the uh, Roger Dodger, the other being the Twin Mill. Twin Mill. And then, uh, then the last one, Bone Shaker. So, I went online like I do on eBay and was searching Roger Dodgers, as I do, because there's a handful of castings at that particular time when I got this one and the other two um, and it popped up it was the only set on eBay and I didn't do my research I got all like excited and panicky and bought it for I believe forty four dollars like an idiot and I realized that there were I think eight or nine or ten watchers on it and I paid you know way too much for it and like within two days there was a good dozen more of them up all running between 30 and 50 dollars for the three when they're currently in the stores right now going for 4.99 a piece so yeah oops Sorry about that. Not that they wouldn't have jumped on eBay for a high price at some point anyways, but I kind of got the ball rolling on that one. Um, now you can get them online, the whole set, for about about 20 is about typical, not including shipping, what people are selling it for. Uh, last couple things I have here. This is a white interior for a Roger Dodger, and the steering wheel is sticking up. You fold it in, and it goes into that little clip spot there. Uh, one of the early Roger Dodgers in this plum crazy purple had a white interior for whatever reason and they're very rare. I'll never find one and if I do, the last one I saw on eBay was going for 1600 so I'm going to drill one of these out and stick my own white one in there so that I can have one at least for you know, for show and to take some pictures of because I'll never actually be able to afford a real one. So, anyways, this, though, is a 1974 Roger Dodger, and this is the one I'm going to drill out uh, for a number of reasons. One, the tampo is really bad on it. Also, it looks like there's Play-Doh jammed all around the engine in the wheel. It doesn't spin too well. It does spin, but not very well. And you can see there's Play-Doh way up in there, all that yellow caked in the uh, rim there. That's all Play-Doh. You see the yellow down in the engine. So, this is the one I'm going to drill out, one, so I can clean it, also so I can... Throw that white interior. Oh, when I dropped it. Throw the white interior in it and make a replica of that very, very rare, hard to find early one. So that's it. That's my haul. A little uh, Blues Brothers action going on. So hope you guys are out there hunting, finding cool stuff, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.